doing here? This is my hypnotically induced fantasy land. Don't worry. Just behave as you normally would, knowing that I am always with you, watching and silently judging. Ah, sweet. Someone made a fun house based on my life? Well, as the world's foremost authority on me, I gotta check this out. Oh, sorry, kiddo, but you gotta be five foot nine and 190.2 pounds to enter this ride. That's what I am. That's actually my exact weight and height. I don't think so, buddy. It's okay, Sonia. He's with me. Oh, Dr. Brom. Welcome back. What? You've been here before? Please ignore me. Remember, silently watching, silently judging. Welcome to Ray's Funhouse. To ensure your continued sanity, please refrain from smoking, eating, or wrestling the animatronic people on this ride. They will bite them. I'm not even joking. Are you just going to sit here? I thought you were going to be silent. I thought you were going to be more interesting to watch. Maybe if I just had a quick two second long micro nap, I'd feel better. Nope, still sleeping. Oh, these were happy times. I never remembered the pie fight, though. And how does that make you feel? Ah. Uh, Okay? This is among my least favorite ways to be served pie. Easily in my bottom 20s, no sweat. I certainly hope that I'll never find myself in a similar situation to the Lobe Ranger in the future. Yes, indeed. That would certainly be an unexpected and not wholly unironic fate. Where's my... Well, this is a waste of a perfectly delicious pie. And maybe Ray can eat the floor scraps afterwards. Ooh, and a hallucin- Maybe if I just said a quick two second long leg nap, I'd feel better. <laughs> nope, still sleeping. Wait. Like wait. Am I real? <laughs> Maybe if I just had a quick two second long leg nap, I'd feel better. Nope, still sleepy. Oh, this is my first love, Maggie McAllister. Now, what do you think she represents? I believe she represents herself I'm in this memory. Oh, come on, man. You've got to give me something. Here it comes, my first kiss. I'm finally going to find out what makes it so much better than old hands, which I already enjoy quite a lot, thank you. Here it comes, my first kiss. I'm finally going to find out what all the fuss about Pushing two sets of lips together is all about. Oh, 
Our attraction was... Don't say magnetic! Magnetic. Oh, but I never got to kiss her. Oh, by the time I got down from the crane, she moved on to Boris. Indeed. And now, would you say this one event totally shaped your psyche into the person you are today? Nah, man. Boris is great. Uh, the three of us played video games together each week for a long time. I'm glad they're happy. Ray, if you're not going to obsess about this until it eats you up inside, then we're both going to be here for a really long time. Maybe if I just... Hey, this is how I got my first kiss from Arlene. Uh, the date wasn't going well up to this point. So I tried to impress her with a grape that I carry in my pocket at all times for just such an emergency. And that actually rescued the date? Yep. After this, we were inseparable. Maybe if I just said a quick two second long leg map, I feel better. Maybe if I just said a quick two second long leg nap, I feel better. This is Take Your Firstborn to Work Day. An event that twisted your psyche into the monster you are today? Nah, oh, man. This is the day Dad got hit on the head. See, this is why I'm so into hard hats and head safety. It's very important. Blah. Boring old father issues. Gag me with a spoon. Come on. Let's move along. There's got to be something less. Okay. Hey, there was a clear before. I'm looking for a man who looks like this picture. Only he is an alive human and not two-dimensional. This is a representation of him. I don't know how I can make this more clear. Oh, if I put this on an agent's face, they'll think he's me. Then, all my problems are over? Maybe? Okay. 
happy day wasn't clear before. I'm looking for a man who looks like this picture. Only he is an alive human and not two-dimensional. This is a representation of him. I don't know how I can make this more clear. Oh, oh man, it actually worked. I'm impressed with myself. Especially since it doesn't even look like me that much. I mean, I'm handsomer, right? Okay, okay. You see this picture? Imagine there was a man who looked like this picture. If you see a man who looks like this man I just told you to imagine. Let me know, okay? Okay. Okay, see this picture? Imagine there was a Any comments on how this makes you feel, Ray? Huh. I'm beginning to feel empowered by how I keep escaping certain death. Listen, you are doing this huh. wrong. Huh. 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 How come? Running in a man's head gets me out of breath. Okay. Maybe I wasn't clear before. I'm looking for a man who looks like this picture. Only he is an alive human and not two-dimensional. This is a representation of him. I don't know how I can make this more clear. Ah, a big chess match. Uh, we won? It was all thanks to teamwork. Her chess smarts combined with my enthusiasm for whatever chess is, made us unstoppable. This was a big moment for us as a couple. Were you breastfed as a child? Uh, doctor? Well, we're here to talk about chess, not feeding babies from someone's chest. Ray, I know you've got a hidden issue, and I know we will unearth it yet. Okay, okay. Do you see this picture? Imagine there was a man who looked like this picture. If you see a man who looks like this man I just told you to imagine, let me know, okay? My job is kind of writing on it, yo. Rhonda, uh, my first girlfriend. Prom was a great night. Oh, I mean, except problem. Uh, but like most problems, we solved it by shaving her head. <laughs> uh, high school was a weird time for me. Yes, yes, very interesting. Uh, uh, wait, who is Ted? Ted? I, I, I can't remember Ted. Maybe it, it was the janitor who... Who wanted to be fun? <laughs> ah, finally! We're finally here! What's this door? Behind it are my innermost secrets revealed? My deepest, darkest shame? Oh, even better! <laughs> This is the washroom, Ray. Ah, man. Couldn't you have done that before? I don't want strangers peeing in my brain. Well, it's a little late for that. Also, good news, I didn't pee.
Oh, man! Now, here's the door with your innermost secrets behind it. <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> you have a home early? What the heck is going on here? It's not what it looks like. Oh my gosh. I've never seen anything like this in 15 years of practice. Disgusting and highly incurable. This is amazing. Uh, Dr. Richards, please. I'll hold. Bob! It's me, Brom! I've got a bad case heading your way. Yeah. Totally incurable. Straight into the rubber room. Yeah. Uh, hypnosis, yeah. I'm still inside his head, actually. There's all these robots with their skin to... Yes, I know it's long distance. Bob? I'm good for it. Anyway... Uh, we are going to see you at golf next weekend. <laughs> yeah, well, let's see your putting get out of that spot.